Okay, this video is called Easy Electrolysis. So I've got a plastic cup filled with water, and in that water you can mix a spoonful of baking soda or salt, uh, just something to make this an electrolytic solution, you know, like in a Gatorade or in batteries. And then I take two electrodes, in this case, one is a zinc covered screw and the other is a steel nail and I've got two wires going one from each back to a battery here and let's see the white one with the steel nail is connected to my positive terminal and the green one is connected to my negative terminal so it wants to complete the circuit through this electrolytic solution and when it does that the two different kinds of metals are going to start interacting. In this case, I guess I've used these for squishy circuits before, so I bet it was a bit of Play-Doh still stuck in this alligator clip that's holding this nail, and it's basically cooking that uh, dirty alligator clip. Um, I'd recommend, you know, washing everything first with, like, uh, soap and water, a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the metal electrodes just to be sure and make sure that they dry so that you don't muddy up your solution here. But you can see it's forming these bubbles as it releases the bits of metal as they try to connect from the negative to positive as they flow through there. And the longer I let this sit, unfortunately in this case, the grosser it's going to look because it's just cooking whatever that is or it could just be oxidizing whatever was on the nail too or both nasty uh... yeah very simple chemistry uh... that you can do with a nine volt a couple of alligator clips and just two different kinds of metal doesn't really matter which